The Austin bombing is taking place in and around Congressman Roger Williams' district, and he joins me now. Sir, what, how, what do you know about the latest from Austin? Well, of course, we know that uh, we've got serious issues down there, and this latest uh, threat that was in the FedEx building that has not gone off yet, but they've uh, evacuated the building. It just makes it more, uh, more obvious that people have got to be careful uh, uh, when they move around. Things they see that they think may not be, uh, may be suspicious, they need to report it to the law enforcement, who's doing a really good job, I might add. Yeah, tell me about that in terms of cooperation between the federal government and local facilities, uh, I'm sorry, local authorities, because as I understood it yesterday uh, from Congressman McCall, there were about uh, 500 federal law enforcement officers on the scene there to help track this guy down. Well, they've got a lot of uh, law enforcement there. They communicated well with us. I was at a great visit uh, yesterday with the, uh, with the chief of police. Uh, so they're communicating and the, no stops. Uh, uh, there's been no stops barred on this to, to get to the perpetrator or perpetrators as quick as they can. So I think they're doing a good job. Uh, people need to be aware, as I said, and, and report to law enforcement anything that they see. What is your office hearing from constituents about their level of concern? Well, they're concerned. I mean, you know, it's one of these things that you don't think it actually will happen in your hometown. And I live in Austin, and uh, it's we don't expect it. But people are very concerned, but people also are wanting to work with law enforcement, work with their neighborhoods, and uh, be very aware of the surroundings, and that's very important. What else can you tell us about what you might be hearing behind the scenes and close they are to try to maybe figure out who this person is, and are they able to, do they even have any suspects at all? Well, I think they're getting closer. I cannot respond if they have a suspect or in, in but I do know that they are uh, working hard, and I think they're beginning to get a, a profile of uh, who this person might be and what their what their message is, it's very obvious that they are they are not rookies at this, and uh, uh, so they are uh, moving forward. And I I hope and I pray that this person or persons will be found quickly. Do you think that there is anything else that the local community needs there in Austin from the federal government that you could be helpful in providing? Well, we're communicating with them. Any needs that they may have, we're, we're responsive. But I think, again, as I said, uh, local law enforcement is dealing well with the, with, with the, with the FBI and the ATF uh, to, uh, to, find a, to find this person. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're there to help. But right now, I think everybody, it's all hands on deck. People are working toward that. All right. Congressman, thank you so much.